Hi, everybody. Gold Aaron Bookworm here. And today I have the pleasure of interviewing the 2021 Mr. America champion, Corey Brown. Hi, Corey. Hi, Carlos. How you doing, man? I'm I'm pumped, man. <laughs> I'm pumped yeah, without going to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm excited myself, man. Uh, you know, countdown is uh, it's, it's getting real. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So um, you yeah, going? No, I'm just uh, I'm just saying, yeah, I'm getting uh, getting excited, getting antsy, you know, just ready to get on stage and uh, you know, showcase the hard work that I've been doing over the years. So it's fantastic. That's awesome. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you in a few days. <laughs> no, definitely. Same here, man. Same here. Awesome. So um, one one of the first things I've got to ask is um. How does it feel to have won, firstly, the Mr. America in 2021 and be part of, like, this historic legacy? Man, it's uh, it's unbelievable. You know, it's a, it's a great feeling. Uh, never in a million years would I thought that I would be um, here where I am uh, winning the Mr. America title. Um, it's uh, It's one that I would cherish for the rest of my life. Uh, and just being, just being on the platform with the with those guys from, you know, from the past, and you know, just the greats that has won it before I have, it's uh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's an amazing feeling, and uh, you know, it was it, it's something, like I said, it's something that I would cherish for 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 a lifetime. Absolutely. Um, so you're going to defend your title this year because you won it in 2021. Is that right? Yes, sir. All right. Um, now, you are aware that if you win it again, you would be like one of the few bodybuilders in history to have repeated John Grimmick's back-to-back -back win in 1940 and 41. You're aware of that? Oh, well, I didn't know. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm glad I'm letting you know. Um I mean, in the history of Mr. America competitions, of which historically there was the AAU that started it, and then IFBB yeah. followed up with their own version, yeah. uh, only John Grimmick ever won two Mr. Americas under the AAU, and the only other bodybuilder to have ever won two is Alan Steffen, who won one under the AAU and one under the IFBB. So you would be one of three men in history to be winning two Mr. Americas. Oh man, that, <laughs> that would be unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm speechless right now, but uh, that would be <laughs> that would be an awesome feeling. Um I I I wouldn't even I probably wouldn't even be able to explain the emotions and everything that I would feel if okay. uh, you know if I win. If I do, mm -hmm. you know, it will be an amazing, amazing story, an amazing, uh, amazing time. So, you know, I'm just, you know, looking forward to it and just preparing as well as I can to, you know, achieve that. Absolutely. Um, so going back now, what, what got you into bodybuilding initially? Oh, you... um, well, Looking back, you know, I've always uh, wanted to uh, be a bodybuilder, and I have a funny story, man. It's uh, it, it's it's still mind-boggling to this day. So um, when I went to college, uh, I played football, got a scholarship to college at University of New Mexico, mm -hmm. and you know we're in the waiting room, and the head coach he's coming around, walking around, you know, talking to. So all the guys that's uh, working out, that's lifting weights, and uh, he comes, you know, he comes up to me, you know, I'm in a group of guys, and he went down the line to each guy, said, you're going to be this when you get older, you're going to be that when you get older, and he stops and he looks at me, and he's like, you know what, Corey, he's like, you're going to be a bodybuilder when you get older. <laughs> I was like, coach, get out of here. I was like, there's no way I'm going to be a bodybuilder, you know, because at the time, I was like, ah. Uh, you know, I, I, I have always enjoyed working out. It always has been, you know, a priority of mine. But never in a million years would I have thought that I would be, you know, on this stage right now. And 
now I'm I'm a professional bodybuilder, you know, as he you know, as he uh as he told. And it's uh it's amazing, you know, because I've I've always wanted to after he after he had initially told me that, you know, I've you know, I thought about it and you know, I gave it some gave it a lot of thought and I was like, man, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind, you know, just trying it out to see how I do, you know, see how things uh work out for me. And you know, uh, when I moved when I moved back to uh Arizona, um it was two thousand six years ago, two thousand seventeen, I started working here at the yard fitness where I'm working now. And uh, a couple of the owners, you know, they did they did uh, some bodybuilding shows. One of them still competes to this day, Julian Brown. And they looked at me and they was like, hey, man, do you compete? I was like, no, I don't. Uh, then he was like, well, you do now. So uh, he was like, um, this is what we're going to do. We're going to find a show for you to compete in. We're going to you know, find the organization, uh, pick a show. We're going to get you ready uh, for that show. And, mm-hmm. you know, that's what we did. My first show that I did uh, it was 2000, 2017, actually, uh, August 20th, 2017, the OCB. Uh, that was my very first show uh, that day. And I, I, pre- I prepped for that show. Uh, it, was, it was very, it was something that I, it was very new to me. Um, I didn't really know what to expect going into it, you know, but, uh, but Julian, he, uh, you know, he, he took me under his wing and, you know, he just showed me the ropes and he, he taught me the, the different uh, the poses. We went, we ran through, you know, our, um, our quarter turns and, and uh, day of the show, you know, August 20th. Got on, stepped on stage, and I won my first show. Nice, cool. You know, and and ever since then, you know, it's just been it's just been embedded in me to continue to keep going and just to see how uh see how far I would go. And he, Julian himself, himself, he actually said he's like, you can go very far in this sport. He's like, it just all depends on you and what you want to do. Yeah. You know, so. Um, Ever since then, you know, I've uh, I've continued. I've grown a lot. You know, I've um, I'm still a student of the game. You know, still learning. Uh, so, but um, but yes, initially that's uh, that's what got me started, and you know, I'm still here today, uh, competing, and I plan on competing for a while. Yeah. You know, until, until my body, you know, lets me know that hey, you know, it's time to. I'm trying to, uh, trying to, trying to, trying to stop now, and even if I'm still, uh, I would, you know, try to at least be somewhere around it, whether it's coaching, you know, helping, helping other guys, you know. Um, so that's what got me started, man. And, and like I said, I'll be here until I can't anymore. <laughs> awesome, and I mean that—that's the beauty of, um, I guess natural bodybuilding um yeah. you just constantly improve and, and i th- think it's a time for me to say this for the audience that are listening and may not know the current mr america show is um a drug tested event isn't it yes it is, it is a drug tested event. Es- essentially it's the premier natural bodybuilding show in the world right now mm-hmm. so so yes, why it is. is it that you decided to go this natural route um, because uh, just just seeing just the the the, the side effects and uh, how putting all these different uh, chemicals in your body uh, actually messes messes up your body. I keep it, you know, and I'm one. I I do not want to do that. Um, I just want to keep going naturally to see how far I can go, uh, be natural, and. I mean, there's there's no other way to go. I mean, it's it's you're not cheating. Mm. You know, you know, you're not cheating. You're you're actually doing the work. 
you know, to to achieve what you want to do. You're not you're not trying to get ahead. You're not trying to you know, get the quick fix. Um, you know, to, to but to eat your own. I'm not knocking anybody that does it. Um, to eat your own, but to me, as a person, I refuse to uh, put any kind of chemicals in my body that that will uh, that will affect me in the long run. You know, just to look good for for, for a moment. You know, you no, know, I want to look good for an eternity, for a lifetime. You know, That's and I want to be able to. You know, I want to be able to be uh, to to, to uh, be here for my daughter, to play with my daughter, to you know, just to just to be around for for more than just a short period of time. You know, a lifetime. You know. Yeah, you said it, man. That's uh. A good mentality to have, good attitude. It's what uh, old school bodybuilding was really about, wasn't it? Yes, it was. <laughs> you know, they, they did the work. They they put in you know hard work, and you know I'm I'm gonna continue to put in that work as hard as it may be, as hard as it gets. Sometimes you know you get frustrated, you get uh, tired, you get um, you know. You get in your own head sometimes, but you know, in, the, in the long run, it would it, it's very beneficial. It's going to pay off. Yeah. Look, I want to share the screen now and um, show people your physique because um, I think it's uh, important for them to see. And I want to yeah. ask you some questions as we do that. Sure, sure definitely. All right. So, see if I can uh, get to the actual screenshots. Here we go. This is the first one. Nope, that's my email. <laughs> here we go. All right, so here we have you competing in the yeah, OCB, was, is that right? Yes, this was the Scorcher. I believe this was 2019. The Scorcher, okay. but yeah. Now, a lot of people who might be watching me might, might be watching this uh this uh, podcast we're doing will be asking one of the first things that I always ask is how long did it take you to achieve such a physique that allows you to compete on stage naturally oh man it took a long time you know I've I've been actually working out since I was 15 years old and how old are you now uh, I'm 41 41 so you said the OCB was the first competition that you ever did yeah. right and that was yes, 2017. Sir. Yes. That's uh, five years ago. So you would have been 36 or 35. Is that, is that correct? Yes, sir. So we're talking two decades of consistent yeah. training. Consistent training. Yes. Consistent training. I've always, it doesn't matter where I end up, where I move. I've always looked to the gym. I've always, I had to. You know, it was just, it was just something in me that I needed to go to the gym, you know, mm -hmm. and just being in that atmosphere, it's more than just, uh, for me, it's more than just working out. It's, uh, it's my, I would say it's my therapy. It's my uh, away from home. It's my getaway it's to ease my mind, to ease, to ease anything that's going on uh, negatively, you know, mm -hmm. that I, that I've been going through. You know, um, it has helped me cope with a lot. Yeah. I think it's a good example for people to realize that such physiques are achievable, but it takes a long time and no shortcuts either. Oh, yeah. It takes a very long time. Now, I've got to say, I'm really <laughs> impressed with this um, side chest shot. I mean, it's absolutely freaky. You, your vascularity there is insane. Your muscle delineations the paper thin skin one of the questions i had here like what are your measurements what are your arms your legs what what, what do they measure um actually you know i haven't really uh done that to be honest with you i haven't really uh measured them yet you know so uh that that would be my next uh <laughs> the next step to uh, get them measured and to actually see where i'm at you know so so you don't use the tape measure you just use the mirror yeah, I just use the mirror. Use the mirror. Um, uh, use the guys here at the gym, you know, to help me out. 
you know, uh, Julian for one, um, you know, he's helped me out a lot. So yeah, I uh, just just use the mirror. Yeah. Mirror doesn't lie. <laughs> mirror does not lie. Mirrors and pictures. Yeah. Mirror and pictures does not lie. It will, it will show a lot. Absolutely, but you don't know exactly or an approximation of how big your arms are. Uh, no, not no. Nah, I do not. Honestly, <laughs> I wish I did. I wish I could. You know, I wish I had some more info on that. But the next, the next time that we're on here, I will. Uh, I will make sure to have those measurements for you. And okay. You listen. I'll get back to that question because there's a reason I'm asking. And here's okay. another great shot. Um. Again, you got not just a uh, great upper body, but obviously your lower body. Great muscle separation there and quads, hams, all of it's there. And he's an awesome athletic shot of you. <laughs> yeah. And it kind of goes back now. I'll stop uh, sharing the screen now yeah. um, and actually get back to my questions. Okay. Um, now, the Mr. America is uh i mean there's so much it's not just the legacy of it but what it represents mm -hmm. and of course it rep represents healthy natural bodybuilding um but do you aspire then to the ideals of the original natural mr america champs and do you have like certain aspirations of what they did that you want to adopt or that you have adopted um yeah um just uh oh man just 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 seeing how those guys just their 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 body structure you know there's um uh as far as uh just their uh oh, their, their 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 symmetry mm -hmm. you know just make everything looks small, your waist, yeah. make your waist, you know, look as small as you can, you know, in your, in your quarter turns and um, just your, uh, your, your legs. Legs is probably one of my favorite uh, exercises to, to, to do. You know, it's one of my favorite things to work on um, is your legs because that's your foundation. So you know, you have to build, build your legs. That's why I tell all, you know, anybody that, that that's looking to get into sport or whatever, or even my, uh, my clients, you know, just uh, you have to work, build your foundation first, and then everything else will, will, will come in place, you know. So um, I, I tend to focus, I mean, just any workout that I, that I do, I tend to focus a lot on just using that muscle that I'm working on at mm -hmm. that time, you know, whether it's my legs, whether it's my glutes, whether it's my hamstrings, whether it's my quads. You know, I want to uh, actually focus on using that muscle, yeah. you know, to, to do the work. Yeah. Um, you just mentioned um, symmetry. Uh, mm -hmm. And the fact that you haven't been measuring makes me believe you more about the fact that you use the mirror a lot. Um, is that what you really are looking for? Symmetry over size the, as, as an ideal? Uh Pretty much, yeah. You know, because I don't want to be too, uh, too big up top, and your your, um, your legs are not uh, complementing your your shoulders or your yeah. your chest, not complementing um, certain certain areas of your body, your arms. You know, so um, I tend to uh, just focus a lot on. Yes, symmetry is my, my my biggest thing, and I just want to make sure that I have what the, the judges are looking for. Mm -hmm. You know, I tend to um, uh, like after this, like after my last uh, when after my last Mister America show, you know, I went back and I kind of looked and kind of analyzed my my body and the things that I wanted to uh, bring up a little bit more uh, for this show. Um, which was my, uh, I wanted my, my midsection to be a little bit more tighter. Uh, I wanted to work on my, uh, my shoulders a little bit more, to bring those up a little bit more, my lats, 
make sure that those were uh, stood out a little bit more and just make sure that my my waist and my, my quads were uh, that everything would that everything was would, would be there the, the day of the show. Uh, make sure that the separation in my quads was there, my hamstrings, my glutes. Um, so I, uh, I tend to focus a lot on, on making sure that my symmetry is, uh, is on point. And um, in order to do that, you know, I, uh, my diet had to be, uh, had, I also, my diet also had to be on point. So, uh, yeah. so symmetry is one of my biggest, uh, biggest things when it comes to uh, stepping on stage and showcasing my, my That's awesome. My um, would you say you have any weak points then? Like, are you, because you're constantly trying to improve on your symmetry and to perfect your physique, is this something you're also looking for? Any weak points? And if you do, do you want to talk about that or? Um, uh, sure. I mean, we all have weak points, you know, that uh, we may, may feel that we don't, we don't have any weak points, but, but we all, we all have weak points. Um, my uh my lower back you know i wanted uh i wanted the more uh, christmas tree shape for my lower back you know so i uh, i made sure that i have to uh, i have to work on that uh to bring that up uh, this show um uh what else my lats you know make sure that my uh my lats were uh or i brought up my lats a little bit more um and my shoulder, my shoulders. You know, I, I look back, and my shoulders were uh, one of my weaker points uh, last year. You know, at the show, so uh, I made sure that my shoulder, my shoulder cap, and everything were um, were there. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I had I, me alone. I I pointed out my weak points myself. Mm -hmm. I noticed those things, and um, I made sure to actually work on those things, not spend too much time, you know, on those things to get away from the rest of my, uh, rest of my physique, but just to put in the, put in the extra work to make sure that I did uh, the necessary movements and adjustments that I needed to make to make those, uh, make those adjustments on those areas. Awesome. Um, again, on the Mr. America, what it means, um, I mean, it's a very, uh prestigious title and back in the day uh the athletes back then not only had a great physique but they had functional strength and i go back to that image of you jumping and you can see your muscularity there looks amazing <laughs> is this something you're also striving to to do to to keep yourself functional like you see a lot oh, yeah. of people as you know they can't even walk on stage barely and i mean you know i see the images of you and you, you look like you're a very dynamic human being so is this something you focus on Oh yes, um, I, I do a lot of uh, functional exercises. Also, you know, I do a lot of box jumps, step ups. Um, uh, I tend to, you know, I because, like you said, I want to be able to to move and be functional, you know, not be, you know, oh, and I, you know, where I can't walk, and you know, I do the necessary stretches. Uh, stretching is something that I do on a daily. You know, I stretch on a daily. I do my my rollouts. So it's uh, being functional helps. Mm. Yeah, you know, it helps. It helps a lot with uh, with everything with your strength and uh, your physique and everything. So yes, I tend to stay functional as long as I can. Um, um, I would say I'm not a, a one dimensional. I'm not a one-dimensional bodybuilder, a one-dimensional person that just focuses just on that and leaves everything else. Mm. You know, I, I mix things up to make sure that I keep my body fresh, keep my keep my joints fresh, keep my keep your muscles. You have to keep your body guessing yeah. you know, about what you're going to do. Uh, so um, that's what I what I tend to do. That's what I love to do, and just be just be physically active is something that I enjoy. You know, I've always been physically active. You know, high school I ran track, played uh, played football, and 
you know, I did the hurdles in high school. So, you know, I'm a be fortunate is something that I've always, always uh, enjoyed to do and I'll continue to do it. Awesome. I mean, that's really awesome to know that you're into sports as well because you just don't hear about that with bodybuilders. Bodybuilders are so one-dimensional. They're so focused and fair enough. You need focus in bodybuilding, but I think uh, it can be uh, so detrimental to just be one, like so single-minded that you don't really enjoy life, if you know what right. I mean. Yeah, that, yeah. It sounds like that's not the case for you. That's for sure. That's good. <laughs> um, so again, decades ago, you know, the Mister America being such a prestigious title um, allowed the Mister Americas to actually do something with that title. Is this something that you plan to do? Like, do you plan to be an ambassador in the sport or become involved in the community? Like a lot of the Mister Americas would visit schools and things like that. Is this something that you're also aspiring to do? To to represent the title? Oh, definitely. Definitely. You know, um, whether it's me uh, talking to, to, to younger individuals, you know, let them know that, you know, uh, anything is possible. You know, you just have to have that mindset and uh, be courageous, you know, and not willing to and, and never give up. You know, if it's something that you strive for, if it's something that you... Uh, that you see that you want, you know, uh, make it a point to, to go out and get it. You know, it's there, it's there in your reach. You know, you just have to put in the work. Just do the work, you know, hard work, you know, beats, you know, beats anything. You know, as long as you're able, as long as you're willing to put the work in, you know, yes, it's, does it get hard? Of course it gets hard. You know, it's nothing, nothing that's worth, nothing that's worth having when it comes easy. Yeah, you know, and 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 never take the easy route. When you take the easy route. There's always consequences. Excuse me. There's always consequences. Mm -hmm. when you take the easy route. So um, yes, I would I would love to you know uh, be get, you know, talk to young individuals. Um, whatever it takes for me to uh, let people know and to see that you know somebody like myself. You know, never thought that I would be where I'm at today. Uh, it's possible. You know, you just have to you just have to keep going. Yeah. You know, and and you will eventually you will get there. Yeah. Nice, very nice, motivating words there. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, so, what about the competition on the weekend? Is there a Anyone, uh, like, is it how's it looking? Is there anyone in particular that you're worried about, or was that um, I actually don't uh, worry about uh, any other uh, competitors, you know. Um, I will see them when I get there at the show, you know. I'm I'll always be cordial, I'll always be friendly, you know. We hang out, talk, chat, take pictures, oh. take photos, you know. Um, you know, yeah, I'm very, very down to earth, open minded person. You know, I, I'm not, you know, stuck up or in any kind of way. Oh, oh, I'm the champ. Oh, I wanted last year. So no, I don't want to. I don't want anything to do. It. No, that's not me. You know, I'm, I'm always uh, looking, you know, willing to make friends. You know, that's nice. you guys make friends over the lifetime that you're here, and um, the more open that you are, and the more receiving. That, that people see me and you know, they, they, they're, they're, I'm always about energy, having good energy and good vibes, you know. So that's what I'm all about, you know. And um, you know, it's a it's gonna be a, a great competition, a friendly competition, and you know, I'm a, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun, you know. I know there's uh, uh, one of the greats that's gonna be here, Meshack. You know, uh, he's a legend himself, so it will be it will be an amazing, uh, amazing time. You know, just sharing the stage with him. Uh, there's other uh, competitors that's going to be there also that, that you know that I will be that I enjoy sharing the stage with them and just just building that camaraderie between between all the guys. You know, it will be a uh, 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 very very uh, interesting experience that I'm looking forward to. Love your attitude, Corey. I mean, it's just uh, refreshing to hear your positivity, your 
you mo you you got this motivation about you, but as you said, you're down to earth and and uh quite humble, I would say. Uh yeah. it's uh, actually all the traits that you want to see in a Mr. America. So congratulations. It's a fantastic you're a great ambassador to the sport. And I'm thank glad you, I'm glad to have spoken to you today, mate. Um yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, yeah, so I'm I'm looking thank forward to said to meeting you on the weekend and uh yeah, I mean that's the end of my questions. I just wanted to uh, have a short one today because I'm sure we're going to have lots to talk about in a few days. So, uh, oh yeah, definitely. I'm looking <laughs> forward to it. I'm excited. <laughs> smile <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> as am I. All right. Mate. <laughs> well, I won't uh, take any more of your time. I know you you got a lot of prepping to do, and uh, it days just a few days away. So, um, yeah, it's been a pleasure. It really has. And I'll be mm -hmm. uploading this uh, hopefully tomorrow just to spice okay. up the competition and everybody else, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Corey. All right, Carlos. It's thank you very pleasure. much, mate. It's been a pleasure. Oh, yeah. Yes, thank you. See you soon. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Bye, mate. Bye. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how Steve Reeves developed his ribcage, I've got a wonderful new e-booklet up on my website, www.goldenerabookroom.com, which explains a very rare and unpublished Reeves ribcage and full body routine. Of course, my website has many other booklets on Steve Reeves' methods, specifically how I developed my waist, how I developed my broad shoulders, and another ebook on how he developed his wonderful diamond-shaped calves. All available on my website, www.goldenerabookworm.com. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooking.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out ironmanmagazinearchive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platts, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels, as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Get your gym wear and golden era apparel at the new golden era tees shop featuring designs from the silver era and golden era legends available as tanks, shirts, sweatshirts and hoodies in all sizes and colors. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. If you're a fan of old school bodybuilding, then make sure to check out Sups the Movie. Filmmaker Alex Ardenti explores the $40 billion sports supplement industry, delving into the origins, evolution, and current state of supplements used by millions of fitness enthusiasts worldwide, available at Amazon and Vimeo.